Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryu, and I genuinely have no idea what this video is going to end up being about. I have a whole bunch of things in my head that I wanted to record, and I couldn't really figure out the best way to break them all down, so I figured I would hit the record button and start talking, and hopefully at some point something is coherent and logical and maybe makes sense to, like, three people. So that's what we're going to go for. Um, I guess I guess to start, I will follow up on something I tweeted out maybe yesterday or the day before, that it bothers me that some of the best players in North America, that they're not on the same team. That's one thing that definitely bothers me, that people are starting to chase the money more than the achievement. And by that I mean... They get a little taste of money, right? Household median income in the United States, I think, is like fifty or fifty-five thousand. Top five players in North America are making substantially more than that now, and I feel like that's lessened their drive to win, and it becomes more of well, I'm just going to do this because I'm getting paid, and less of I'm doing this because I want to win a major, and if I win a major, I know the money will be there, right? Because if you put the achievement at the top and you chase and pursue the achievement, the money will follow. I think people are starting to flip that in esports, especially in North American CSGO. And it bothers me because I play the game because I'm competitive. I, I love all the competitive elements. I love all the different things that go into it. And I know some people, they, they play it for fun. Right? Counter-Strike is this weird blend of, of love and hate and addiction and rage, and it's just like this... It kind of fulfills the emotional spectrum in its entirety. And then you hit the one, you know, you get super pissed and you hit that shot, you know, the one shot that's just so satisfying. And you're like, that's why I play this game. And you kind of remind yourself of like, oh, yeah, that's why. And there's people that play it just for that fun. And that's that's fine. And there's people that are now starting to play it for money. And that bothers me. And then there's people that play it because they want to achieve the absolute most that they feel they're capable of. And that's. That's a little bit more my speed. So yeah, it bothers me that some of the top five, I would say even top ten players in North America right now are all on different teams. Um, it seems like everybody's got an ego. You know, they're starting to do it for the money instead of the achievement. And God, I just I just can't I can't deal with that. I, I just absolutely despise that. Um, I, I think if people were willing to sit down and be honest with themselves and ask themselves how bad they want to win. And then foreign teams based on that, North America would do a lot better at some of these international competitions. Because I think you'd find that people are, people that are like, well, yeah, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, a night a week. It's like, well, uh, you're probably not going to be on the top team. Or the guy that's like, well, listen, I, I can't I can't get rid of my stream schedule. I can't. I, you know, that's so much money for me. Well, you're probably not the guy that we want on the team either. But if people are willing to sacrifice and they say, listen, I want to win. I'm, I'm willing to do everything, sacrifice everything. I, I'm, I'm all in on this because I want to bring a major to North America. And we could find five of those guys that are the top 10 players in North America, you know, unbanned players. Um, I, I think a team of those individuals that are willing to sacrifice everything would work. And I think it's because they'd sacrifice some of the things that, hold NA back, like ego, right? And and the the need to be the star player, right? I, I, there's a great quote that I absolutely love, and it's that the main ingredient to stardom is the rest of the team. And I think if people in North America started to think that way, maybe we could achieve that way. You know, at the end of the day, it's a team game, and teams win or lose, players don't win or lose. So whether you have 30 frags or eight frags, if you did your job, you fulfilled your role and your team won, that's all that matters, right? And you, you can ask any of my teammates. They're probably sick of me saying it because I've said it a thousand times throughout the course of the season. The only stat that matters, only stat that matters, is that the number in the W column is extremely high and the number in the L column is either a zero or extremely low. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. And I think if people were willing to be honest and say, well, hey, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm in it to win it. Or, hey, listen, I thought I was in it to win it, but I'll tell you what, man, having this money is great. And I'm just going to continue to stream or make my money and whatever. And I'm 
you know, I'm willing to go a little bit in, but not all in. No. Get off a top team. Give that to, give that chance to someone who's willing to put it all out there. And if we can form a team like that and we're willing to sacrifice and we're willing to be teammates and use teamwork and we don't need to be the star player and we're not going to rage even when we win because we weren't at the top of the scoreboard, damn, I'd love to see what we could do internationally with that. I also think that people need to be very honest with themselves about what they're good at and what they're not good at. Like I watch some of these teams – competing at the pro level in North America. And I see support players trying to entry, see entry players trying to lurk. You know, if somebody's not hitting their shots, they just want to change their role. And it's just not how it works, right? If, you, if you're if you assigned a job and you have a role to do and a, a role to, to, to function in and a task to perform, you can't just change it because, you know, you're not hitting your shot in that one day, right? Like if you're the entry guy, we're expecting you're going to go in there and entry. Not, uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm not really feeling confident today. So I'm going to like kind of run up and then stop and then hold up everybody behind me. And then maybe I'm going to turn into the lurker this round because I feel like I can just shoot people in the back. You know, like it doesn't work like that. And if people were honest to say like, Hey, listen, I've got phenomenal aim. Um, and my communication skills are great. Let me entry like, okay, good. Or, Hey, listen, I feel like I've got great timing and real good positioning. Maybe my aim isn't the best. Well, I want that guy lurking, right? If he knows if his timing is that good and he knows where to be on certain, you know, executes or certain uh, strats, that's awesome. Or if you're the guy that knows every flashbang, every smoke and your aim's not that great and, you you know, maybe you don't win all your clean 1v1s, then maybe you should be the support guy. But if people were honest with themselves and they say, hey, listen, I'm this or I'm that and just go all in on that. And find other players that are willing to go all in on what they're good at. And you come together as a team. You play as a team. You put the team first. There's no reason North America can't be beating some of these teams. When I watched, and I know this isn't a North American thing, when I watched Envy play NIP this weekend, I saw five amazingly talented individual players on Team Envy. And the reason I think they're so inconsistent is that they really don't play with a lot of teamwork. I was watching Inferno and I'm watching, I think it was uh, Kiyoshima soloing left side of um, Bombsite A on Inferno. Soloing it, right? And then Shocks is in Halls by himself. Like those are positions that are very easy to play with teamwork and not, and not just like base level teamwork of like throw a flash for me and I'll peek. But like playing it together, holding it down together you know i'm crossing crossfire on this position whatever it is and i'm watching them not i'm watching nip fail to take advantage of that which tells me that kiyoshima and shocks were playing great on that particular map but the it was so individual to me that a good trade and they take the bomb site right? they go two, they can go two for two on that because the positions aren't you know the positions are fairly predictable balcony and under porch pretty predictable Go two for two trading on that. You have a bomb site and a 3v3. I'll take that all day long on Inferno. And they're very talented individual players, but I think that same level of talent in North America exists. If we're willing to combine teamwork, I think it would look a little bit more like like Fnatic or probably more like TSM. And a team like that from North America with teamwork and people willing to sacrifice and to throw the ego out the door and know their jobs and know their roles and just do those and go all in on those... There's no reason we can't be at the top of this game. And it kind of bothers me that we're holding ourselves back with ego, with the pursuit of money, with distractions and all this drama and tolerating people who are really genuinely not good people. Like those people just need to go away. We need to find people that are all in, that have individual talent, that fit specific roles, that are willing to listen and put the team first. And I think if you combine all of those things, we should have... I would say two, maybe three top five teams, not even top 10, top five teams. I think cloud nine is kind of close. I think there's some self-realization that needs to happen on that team. And I'm not going to go through like they should change this and cut this guy because I, I don't know all the inner workings. Right now, they're the closest thing we have to top level competition. I don't think the results from this LAN event were abundantly telling um, just because they, they played Envy and then they played Virtus Pro. It's kind of small sample size. But I, I think there's just something fundamentally wrong with the whole way we operate right now in North America and that we're putting all this individual, you know, star star player crap out there. 
and and then you know going to land and talking to some people and it's like well what what team is that guy on? He seems like he's got a really good knowledge, good shot, whatever. Oh, he's not on the team because he doesn't show up to practice on time or he's lazy. It's like, okay, well then get him out. Stop giving him a chance. Give the, give somebody, give the young gun a chance. The guy that's like a hundred hours a week, put him on a roster and give him a chance and mold him into the role that you think he's good at. And, oh yeah, that guy, he's not on a team because nobody wants to play them because his ego's crazy and he rages. Well, get him the hell out. Stop giving him another chance. Give it to somebody else that's not going to rage, that understands it's a team game. And if they're the top of the scoreboard because that's what their role te- tells them they should be, great. And if that's what their role is and they're not and we still win, who cares? That's the guy you want to add. You don't want to add the guy that he's toxic and people don't want to play with them and he's... He's kind of starting drama and cutting teammates, and you don't want to deal with that. And I'm so, so sick of hearing it. Um, it's just it's incredibly frustrating to me to see North America continue to lag behind. And if there's nothing I accomplish in this entire game, it's hopefully that the, very, the one thing I'd want to accomplish is to get people to think about the game in North America as a team, as five people together acting as one team, not five separate individuals doing five separate things but five talented individuals that operate as one cohesive team. And if people are willing to do that and they're willing to sacrifice and they're willing to say, this is what my role is. I I don't have an ego. I don't care about the stats page. The only thing I care about is winning and doing my role to support my team. Man, what a, what a, what a, a scene we would have in North America. So I have no idea how long this video has been going. I, don't even know what I'm going to title it. Hopefully something I said made sense. This is a complete rant. I, I literally came in. Sometimes I'll have notes and stuff. I have no notes. I'm staring at my ceiling fan. I haven't really updated my screen here. I'm just clicking through some tweets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I have no idea if you will or won't. Feedback, always appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching.